Hi friends, welcome to my channel, NBC Lifestyles Diary. I like to cook and entertain, I love cultural happenings, and I love the sights of New York. I'd love it if you join me on this adventure. Please subscribe, like, and share if you'd like more content. Today I'm on Roosevelt Island. It's an island sandwiched between Manhattan and Queens. On one side you're looking at Long Island City and the Pepsi Cola sign. On the other side you're looking at the UN and the FDR Drive. I'm also inside of Four Freedoms Park, a memorial to Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Come and explore this island with me. We're going across the Roosevelt Island Bridge, which is how you get to Roosevelt Island from Queens. It lets you off on the main street. And as we drive along, we're going to be heading towards the Four Freedoms Memorial Park. Right now you're looking at the 59th Street Bridge, which crosses the island, but doesn't have an exit onto the island. Over here is the university that is a collaboration between Israeli Technical College and Cornell University. So at the entry, we're looking at a sculpture called the Blue Dragon. And we're walking into the first part of the park, which is always open, but the Four Freedoms Park is closed on Tuesdays. From the Manhattan side, you can get here by the F train or the tram. And there's also a ferry that stops here, but I think that's from the Queen side or when you're riding along from 90th Street. As I walk along the path, I'm going to come up First Memorial. It's called Hope Memorial, and it has a beautiful um, sculpture there. Hope Memorial was commissioned by the Disabled Association, and the tiles on the floor give you the history of Roosevelt Island. Here we are at the sculpture where we're looking at Fed, um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt in his wheelchair reaching out to a young girl who has been crippled by polio. This commemorates the work that FDR did on behalf of the disabled and, and appropriately it should be on this island which had two facilities to take care of those with chronic conditions and it was Goldwater Hospital and Cooler Hospital. Here is a structure on the original island uh, called the Smallpox Hospital. It's made from stone quarried on this island and actually was built by the convicts that were in the penitentiary on this island. So I've entered the Four Freedoms Park and the stones are gleaming and it's really beautiful and you have a clear view of the UN and behind me is Long Island City. This park was designed by Louis Kahn and it is formed in a pyramid style. So on either side, you can walk to the formal memorial, but there's also a dazzling staircase that takes you on top. And this mound was created by all the dirt excavated when they were building the F train. So it's formed in the shape of a triangle and at the point is another wonderful sculpture of uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And on either side, there are these beautiful trees that line the path. In the summer, it's really gorgeous and lush and gives you a hush tone. So you're, you're listening to the water, you hear the, the seagulls. It's a beautiful vista. So as I approach, you see the sculpture by Boris Johnson, who was known to be able to capture the essence 
of the personality of those that were seated before him. He's known for creating a bust of Helen Keller and Charlie Chaplin, just to name a few. And we are here. And behind us is the Four Freedom speech that Franklin Delano Roosevelt gave in a State of the Union address. So as you sit in the space and you look over and you see the United Nations, you realize that this was the appropriate place for the FDR Memorial because Franklin Delano Roosevelt was very instrumental and some credit him with the force behind the creation of the UN. Because as somebody that saw the devastation of World War I and worked under Woodrow Wilson, he knew or he felt that it would have been avoided if the United States had joined the League of Nations. So therefore he and Churchill collaborated to bring this into existence. Roosevelt Island is full of history, so much history that I don't think I can capture it all on this video, but it's well worth taking the tram across or the F train from the city or the ferry to get here and experience the beauty of this park. Four Freedoms is on the southernmost part of the island. Roosevelt Island is a 2.5 mile long sliver of land in the middle of the East River between Midtown Manhattan and Queens, totaling 147 acres. The island was first known as Blackwell's Island, named after the Blackwell family who farmed the land before selling it to the city in 1825, when it was then used for various public facilities over the next century. A penitentiary, smallpox hospital, cemetery, and insane asylum. And a lot of the structures were built by the inmates of the penitentiary. Not the Four Freedoms Park though. So to my right, once again, you have another view of the smallpox hospital. And the island originally, before all this de development took place, had several structures this way. There was a fire that burnt a lot of these buildings down. The penitentiary was burnt down. The insane asylum was bent that burnt down. There are several historical buildings on the island. And in this part, there's a, a building built in 1892, the Strector Laboratory. Um, it served as a laboratory for the city hospital. It was the first institution in the nation for pathological and bacteriological research. The project was funded by the Strector family and the building was designed by architects Frederick Clark Withers and Walter Dickinson. I'm at the end of the tour. Thank you for joining me on this walk. Please like, subscribe, and follow.